I recently had a um, comment from a longtime supporter, Greg, where he said, Watching some of your old videos today, beware of silent dates. It resonated with me. Link below to that old video. Yeah, I remember with that video, when I started to become aware in my life of the other person, not just accepting them on face value, but being discerning, reading between the lines, observing them as people, how they acted, how there were incongruencies between how they portrayed themselves on the date compared to who they actually were when they were expressing themselves with words and you know, relaying their experiences and things like that, all of a sudden you started to see things didn't add up. And when I was starting to observe that in others and the world, I was also placing that same focus on me too. When I was exercising the muscle of being discerning and being honest about what I saw in other people and how other people were treating me and how girls were presenting themselves to me, how there was a lie between what they said and who they were, who they actually were. I started to be honest with myself too. You know, I can portray myself as a certain type of guy and go on autopilot and posture all these sort of macho things and pretend to be the guy that women will accept and like and pretend to be the guy that will be accepted with other guys. But am I being honest? Is that the kind of guy I want to be around? So there was that kind of thing, you know, do I want to be around this kind of person? Are they really my kind of person? Who am I? So it was a good way of uh, knowing myself in relation to something, in relation to a person that needed to match me, not I need to accommodate them, I need to be everything they want, or she needs to be everything I want. Uh, I was thinking, as I'm sure you have too, what makes some men more accepting and impacted by red pill versus blue pill? I almost compare it to a clinical trial of medicine. Yeah. Some pills have no effect on a person. Some pills change their life. Uh, it's really very individual. I know that when people are afraid, they want a way out quickly. They don't want choices. They don't want to ponder. They don't want to sit there and ponder. But unfortunately, with these kind of things in life, finding paths, meaning, direction, all that kind of stuff, it's a matter of deferring the impulse to gratification to get out of there because you feel uncomfortable. A lot of times being uncomfortable is exactly where you need to be to sit still and find out who you are, uh, what you're made of, so you don't go ahead and take further steps and make your life worse as it was in the past. One concept that crossed my mind was it seems as if the inherent and further encouraged solipsism of women is in direct opposition with abstract and empathic thinking. Well, yeah, sure. You condition people to be afraid and selfishness follows because you're desperate to survive and you're fearful of everything. It's sort of, it's all about you and fuck everyone else. You breed children. So yeah, like um, I think politically there was a statement, you don't need to get men. You don't need to get the children. Get women and the men and children will follow. So the top of the pyramid is quite smart. If they get women, they'll get all of society. While I don't share quite the same artistic penchants that you do, I tend to be more of an abstract or allegorical thinker to make sense of the world. What I found in my own life is that while I carry a high amount of pragmatism, using this abstract thinking has allowed me to consume and or relate different concepts that might otherwise be too difficult from a straightforward approach. Where I always found it difficult, read impossible, with the female mind is when I would try and relate things with this sort of thinking. Hey, imagine that X and then Y. How would that make you feel? Full expecting the concept would resonate. It never would. Yeah, women have this very Archimedean point of being self-referential and completely literal in that space. You know, they, they can't sort of see how the dominoes will fall two or three moves ahead. Despite the blue pill idea that women have a monopoly on feelings, they could never quite relate with these sort of hypotheticals. Yeah, it frustrates me too. Just because women have a lot of emotions, because women emote a lot, they make it analogous with thinking and being sort of emotionally deeper and elegant. But in my experience, women don't have the creativity, the imagination, the depth of emotions that men have because we can abstractly think of emotions beyond our immediate impulses now. Men can curb them. 
men are better at disciplining their impulses generally than women. I mean, that's why the diet industry is more successful with women. It's a bigger market. Whereas a man generally just gets himself to the gym. He knows what needs to be done. Women want these magic pills just thrown at them f- to fix them, which is why I think they, they like medicine so much. You know, you've got a sniffle, go to the doctor. Whereas a sensible man will say, like, you know, I just need to rest and drink fluids. I'll be fine. Go to the doctor. And don't forget, abstract thinking requires thinking outside yourself, not placing you as the self-referential point for everything to have meaning, but for you to be the observer and say, okay, aside from me, how does this look? Or how do I relate to this other thing? Or how do these two separate things relate as I observe them? What can I learn from them? Oh, here's an idea that's come from that. Quantum physics. Women aren't interested in that. Um, It's a reason why they're not attracted to the STEM subjects. It's because it doesn't have anything to do with them. I made a saying once, uh, women are not interested in mathematics because they're not part of the equation. So it brings me to a bit of a theory. Is it that red pill men have or have cultivated this sort of abstract thinking which makes the red pill actually digestible to them, whereas the blue pill man has a more mechanical, just do sort of autopilot thinking? Yeah, perhaps. If you've naturally got an intellectual curiosity, uh, I think an an intellectual curiosity suggests um, being open to abstract thoughts, other people's ideas, even empathy. You know, it's not just about you. Other things are interesting. Other things can inform you. It's not a solipsistic point of view like um, the female world tends to be. So if you're already intellectually curious, I think the abstract thinking and concept connections in red pill ideas can cultivate that thinking and help you understand even more. So it's a bit of one helps the other kind of thing, and it just keeps growing and growing. Hope all this makes sense. Maybe not such a quick thought. In any case, since you are not a drinker, maybe this donation will get you some Vegemite instead. All the best, Greg. No, I don't drink. Thanks, Greg. Uh, but I did buy myself something nice with it. And thanks for sharing your thoughts too. I'm sure I'm not the only one that sort of has always pondered this. You know, and sometimes it was fr- frustrating. You're like, It's so simple and clear to me. Why can't you understand this connection? Um, Some people are literal. Uh, Some people are just wired that way. Some people are born mathematicians. Some people find string theory attractive. Some people are musicians. Some people, everyone's wired in a different way to find it easier to absorb life in certain aspects. So trying to elucidate life to somebody via the conventional red pill ideas, it's really hard if they're not wired in a way so as to accept them. It's really like pulling teeth for some people. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys, as well, relating to this observation. Do you struggle with conceptually coming to terms with information that could and should help you, but it just doesn't? What do you find works with you? Does cold hard math click for you? Or does something more personal and esoteric work like empirical experience or what have you? What gets you to that religious realization moment where things just click deeply and make complete sense and everything's in focus? And what just doesn't connect at all and just kind of goes in one ear out the other or just seems mildly interesting? And like, comment, and subscribe, hit the bell icon, then hit the all in the drop down to be notified of all my videos. Join the discussion on Discord and donate if you're so inclined. I really appreciate the support. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.